start of a very, very fall weekend, my friends, and I wanted to bring you guys along. Um, I, when I say that, I basically mean that this is the first day that it's felt like real fall weather. I feel like I can dress for fall. We just got some fall groceries, and I'm going to be decorating for fall um, this weekend, so... I wanted to share that with you guys um and yeah i just got back from um trader joe's and a target pickup so yeah let's go inside and i'll show y'all what i got for the season okay target or trader joe's first i hope you said trader joe's because those things need to go some of them in the fridge we're gonna do that one first <laughs> So we got just like some of our basic things we always get, arugula, um, where I use for the salads, and I have some cherry tomatoes and croutons um, that I have to use up, so we're going to use those. Non, I got two packages of plain and two packages of garlic because I eat a lot of Indian food and I eat this with those, and I also eat it with salads, and then I also was taking eating the plain one with some of the fall harvest soup that I have from Trader Joe's as well. So that's just basically like our bread supply. Um, vegetable broth, um, again, just one of the recipes I make, um, the like coconut milk chickpea curry. Um, I use that, which I'm gonna be making later this week. And then for the first time of the fall, we're going to be making the dupe of the Trader Joe's butternut squash mac and cheese. Um, I don't remember the name of the person that posted the recipe to TikTok and I found it on their website. I will link it below though. It's the easiest recipe. Um, you really just need like a blender or a food processor. I have like my little ninja blender, um, like the bullet ninja blender. And so that works. Um, but I got the three types of cheese that I use in that Gouda. Um, I get just the thousand day Gouda. That's their like most normal Gouda at Trader Joe's. They have like a bunch of them. They have sheep's milk Gouda now. It's insane. Um, the unexpected cheddar. I use that for the cheddar cheese that it calls for. And then Parmesan um, from Trader Joe's. I get the one that's been like grated um, and then like weighed just because I feel like there's more and it's fresher. Um, but those are going to last for freaking ever. Um, one of the things you find out when you're an adult is how expensive Parmesan cheese is. And then you realize why your parents always just bought the craft bottle shaker kind. Um, because it's because of how much this costs and children don't care. <laughs> um, I became a snob child once I reached my teenage years and I cared. Um, so yeah, those and then butternut squash chunks um i listen the first time i did buy butternut squash i roasted it and then i scooped out the insides and i did that whole thing um the price difference was worth it just popping these on the pan and seasoning them and roasting them that way so they're really not you know for a pre-prepared vegetable as difficult as it is to prepare butternut squash like this this is a decent amount for what it was a decent price i think it was like three something for this, the butternut squash is like two something. Yeah, I'd pay a couple dollars for someone to go through all of that for me. So, personal opinion. And then I got one, two, three, four happy little miniature pumpkins. Um, I got two of their big brothers outside. I don't know, like the big normal size pumpkins. I got two of those and four of these. I'm going to be using them in my 13 Thrifted Nights um, costumes for the photo shoots um, I'm doing for those for Instagram. Um, that project is like mostly to relaunch my Instagram, but also because I wanted to do it. So if you are interested in seeing the photo shoots with these pumpkins with all of my 13 Thrifted Halloween costumes, go on over to my Instagram, follow me there. I will also be posting a TikTok of all of them so follow me there as well but especially on my Instagram because we have like eight years uh, worth of Instagram work that just <laughs> went down the drain it's not a big deal um, but that's what these are for I'm very excited and rounding out Trader Joe's I just got two bags of the pasta that I use for the butternut squash mac and cheese I get the brown rice and quinoa fusilli pasta um, I got two bags of them just because all that cheese actually makes like a few batches um, and then the butternut squash is good for one and so I'll only have to go rebuy the butternut squash when I want to make another. The last two things I got from Trader Joe's are my treasured apple cider donuts. I love them. I love them so very much. 
Um, they're only out during the fall time, so had to get them. And then our um, lemon room spray from Trader Joe's is running a little bit low. And so they have a like seasonal um, one of these. I don't know pomander. I don't know what that is, but it says with orange, mandarin, cinnamon, and clove. Um, and I love all of those things. So this is going to be, once the lemon runs out, our new like post poop spray. Um, I think I just should have said bathroom spray, um, but all I could think of was poopery. If it's not poopery, because you don't put it in the toilet. Anyway, moving on, we're talking about food. Um, Target. I did a pickup order from Target and then like the disgusting little millennial I am went inside and bought two more things. Um, shredded Mexican cheese. I like the size and the price at Target better. One the one at Trader Joe's. Every year during fall, I found these last year, the pumpkin cheesecake cookies um, from the Favorite Day Target brand. Listen, sometimes these Favorite Day cookies are fantastic and sometimes they're terrible. These, fantastic. Um, they also have a caramel apple one. They're like little cookies. Those are so, so good. I haven't seen those this year yet, but these, fantastic. And then um, I got some Halloween candy. I got some Halloween candy because it's cheaper than it's going to be once Halloween draws near. I'm not going to eat it all by then, probably. I'm going to sprinkle it out through the month of October, like a responsible Halloween candy loving, festive adult. Um, I'm an adult now. I'm allowed to eat Halloween candy during Halloween season as I see fit and festive. And so the choices we made were the mix I get pretty much every year um, just because the only thing it's missing is Twix, and Twix is also always paired with the Milky Way, Three Musketeers, and Snickers bag. I don't really give a fuck about those three. Those are fine. I'll eat them if I'm offered, but I'm not going to eat many of those. I'd really just be eating the back of the Twix. And so the one we settle on pretty much every year is the Kit Kat Reese's Hershey's and Almond Joy. I'm an Almond Joy person. I like coconut. Um, you, I, I'm not going to fight you over it. If you don't like coconut, that's fine, um, but I do, and then I love Reese's and Kit Kats, and so this ended up working out the best. And then there was a deal... It was a deal on the fun size. It was Butterfingers and Reese's, and there were already Reese's in there, and I love Butterfingers. I have loved them since I was a kid, um, and they were, like, partnered with The Simpsons. I just, I love these. Um, they are just a Halloween staple for me, so I'm so excited to munch on those all month long. Um, I have all of my, like, fall desserts just, like, locked and loaded and, like, ready for my consumption over the next few weeks. I'm really excited. Um, and then the things I went inside to grab were just, um, you've probably seen me wear this a lot because I film in it and I do bookings in it a lot, but it is just a cropped black t-shirt. I have a small, I got a medium. I wanted two of them because I wear it a lot and I wouldn't know who I was um, without this t-shirt, frankly. Um, so now I have it in two different sizes, and then I also got a more condensed ice tray with a lid. That's important because once I fill it, I can put a top on it to keep it from spilling between transferring it from where I fill it to the freezer, um, and I don't like two of the ice trays I have right now. I only like one of them, so I'm going to keep one of them, and then I'm going to have this. So, yeah, um, I'm sweating, and I need to do my workout, so I'm going to put all of this away. second job today and I got home I walked Winnie I had a audition on zoom that went meh um and I am starving also I really want to make pumpkin bread this is just going to be like the cooking the cooking baking vlog um the fall recipes vlog um if you will so yeah we're gonna make some 
food. I don't know if it's lunch at this point. It's like 2 p.m. Um, I guess it's lunch. It's lunch. Um, we're gonna make some food and then I think we're gonna make some pumpkin bread. Um, I also have um like a art slash home renovation project that I'd like to get going on. Um, or like I <laughs> I don't want to say finish because I'm not sure if I can finish it today, but I'd like to continue and make more progress on. Um, so yeah, that's what, that's what we're going to do today. I am so incredibly hungry. Like you don't understand. I can feel my body eating itself from the inside out because of how hungry I am. And yet nothing that I actually have. I have so much good food. I have butternut squash mac and cheese. I have autumn soup with garlic naan bread. I have vegan Caesar dressing that I can make with arugula and quinoa and blistered tomatoes and a plain garlic salted naan. Like I have options. I can make a smoothie. I can make a PB and J smoothie. I can make a burrito bowl with some lime and tahine, but I don't have avocado, so I don't want to do that. It's just, it's really shameful. Um, and so I am like sitting here making food like a responsible adult. I'm not going getting something that I do want um, because that would be expensive. I'm making food here, but I'm like bitching all the way. I'm like getting out the quinoa and just being like fucking quinoa arugula stupid like it's it's absolutely ridiculous um let me know if you relate we're doing this with the zit cream or we're not doing it at all skincare never stops um that's not true everything stops don't ugh. i don't know when people say things like that like that mindset feels gross to me anyway um it's not that deep. I'm going to stop rambling. Um, so we're going to make pumpkin bread. I'm excited. I'm going to try a new recipe. Um, fun fact, I don't like eggs, so I'm not going to buy eggs. Um, but I have flax meal. So we're going to make flax eggs and we're going to substitute those into the recipe. And I feel like it'll be fine. It's been fine with every other recipe I've done it with. Um, so... Yeah. Um, I will link the recipe that I'm using below. I wanted to do um, one that was like a dupe of the Starbucks pumpkin bread because I had one recently and it was very good. And then I got another one um, several days later because it was only $4 and I just wanted a little treat. Um, so yes, I was out running errands. When else do you get? little treat. I mean, I guess you can get a little treat anytime, but I feel like most of the girlies, we know, you know, it's the errand treats. It's the errand treats that get to you. Or, or you're coming back from running errands and you pick up a little treat because you're not going to make food when you get home. No, no, no. You have food to eat when you get home. Um, sorry, I'm done. Let's make pumpkin bread. My eggs. If you want to know how to make flax eggs, it's actually really easy. Um, just one tablespoon of flaxseed meal and two and a half tablespoons water and whisk them together and just kind of let them stand and thicken and do their thing which is what um they're doing now so we're gonna let this we're gonna let these babies rest <laughs> So I actually decided to make the butternut squash mac and cheese for dinner after the pumpkin bread because the oven was already on and I wanted to show you guys because it's super easy and one of my favorite things to make for this season. So it was just the butternut squash and the cheeses that I showed you guys along with a bunch of spices. Like I said, I'll link the recipe below, bay leaves and whatever milk you want. I just roasted the butternut squash with some salt, pep, olive oil and a little bit of garlic powder. I believe it's at like 375 and then all of the spices go in the blender with the milk and then you put the butternut squash in there. Once it is roasted. While it was roasting, I just grated all of 
the cheese. Um, this is why I get the Parmesan already grated. And then once the butternut squash is done, I just wait for it to like cool enough for me to be able to like scoop it off of the pan. And then you just blend it to make this sauce that's a really easy consistency to work with. You cook your pasta and then you use the pasta pot. You put some olive oil and a bay leaf in there. And after that's kind of like warm, you add the sauce from the blender and then you use some of the pasta water to help incorporate the cheese into that sauce so the pasta water is hot and so it kind of just helps the cheese melt into the sauce and once it's all kind of come together you add the pasta mix it up and that's that on that